In this video, we highlight the management strategies for symptomatic calocele diverticulum with calculi. Calocele diverticulum are smooth-walled non-secretory cavities. These are lined with transitional cell epithelium and they receive urine by passive retrograde filling. They are believed to be congenital and found in a small percentage of patients. Majority are less than one centimeter and there is no gender bias. They are bilateral in a few percent of cases. Indications for treatment include pain, infection, calculi, hematuria, or compressing contiguous calyces or parenchyma. Calculi are concomitantly found in approximately 10 to 40 percent of cases and rarely pass spontaneously. In these patients, recurrent infections are attributable to about a quarter percent of cases. Most are located in upper calyces, approximately 70 percent of the time. Treatment options for management include partial nephrectomy or ablation, either laparoscopically or robotic, percutaneous nephrolithotripsy with removal of calculi and ablation of cavity, or ureteroscopic management. Herein, we present a patient with left flank pain and multiple calculi. Noted, there is a cal calyceal diverticulum present. Percutaneous approach was achieved for management, and here, antigrade film is demonstrated. Standard percutaneous techniques were used to advance wire. Balloon dilator was then introduced. Implant sheath was introduced after balloon dilation. Here we demonstrate extraction of the stones once access has been gained into the calocele diverticulum. Two and three prong graspers are used for extraction and shock pulse ultrasonic lithotripsy can also be used. Here demonstrated is stone free after extraction of stones. At this time, we can then proceed to fulguration of the mucosal lining of the calocele diverticulum. A transurethral resectoscope with roller ball with electric cautery was used to completely ablate the lining once stones have been removed. After a complete ablation, percutaneous nephrostomy tube is placed. Here we see our standard Foley catheter with the tip cut off for nephrostomy tube placement. This can assist in hemostasis post-procedure as it provides a tamponading effect. Additionally, a ureteral stent may be placed anterograde or retrograde. Regarding the ureteroscopic approach, challenges include identification of the diverticular neck and removing the calculi and ablating the cavity. There's still no consensus on obliteration of the diverticular cavity. Treatment limitations exist given on the anatomic location of the diverticulum and stone burden. The flexible approach is preferred as the location of these diverticuli are often hard to access. Stone-free status is quite difficult to achieve and difficult location of the diverticular neck is especially found in lower pole situations. Here we present a case of a 52-year-old female who was found to have multiple calculi in a small calocele diverticulum. Due to her habitus and location of the stones, a ureteroscopic approach was elected. We used the Holmium laser for management of the stone and to open up the infant fundibula. Once the calocele diverticulum was localized, the laser was used in order to open up the connecting tissue Once the diverticulum was opened, multiple small calculi were identified. At this time, the stone basket was used to extract the stones, and homium laser was used to fragment the larger fragments.
the calyx heel diverticulum was opened widely to ensure drainage. After extraction of the stones, maximal attempt was taken in order to ablate the wall of the cavity. In conclusion, the approach to manage calyx heel diverticulum with calculi can be achieved either percutaneously or with ureteroscopic approaches. Both are utilized to treat patients with symptomatic calyx heel diverticulum. Lastly, we present an algorithm for the future urologist who chooses to tackle such stones 